about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Be free Be free with me Looking back, eyes on the freeway, Bonnie and Clyde, a classic cliche, we're on the run, this is what we waited for. here on my channel at Hattie Homemaking. So today I'm doing another cozy slow day vlog. Today is a Sunday. It's a Sunday with a twist I like to call it. I'm just going to pause the washing machine so it doesn't interrupt. Actually, end of cycle so I don't need to. Ah, happy days. <laughs> yeah so today is a bit of an exciting Sunday. Normally Sundays for me are super slow. It's just 
I just chill in my pyjamas all morning and then we head over to Paul's parents for a roast dinner. But today we are doing something a little bit different. So we're actually heading over to the venue um, where we are having our wedding reception after we get married. So we are going to be doing the food tasting today. We have been waiting so long to do it. Everything's been up in the air with everything that's been going on in terms of the pandemic. And yeah, we've kind of just not really planned so in the past week or two i have started getting the ball rolling with planning again so i've sent out all my invites fingers crossed this is the final day and i don't need to move it again but i'm trying not to complain too much and not to feel too sorry for myself because at the end of the day my situation in this whole pandemic with not being able to get married is so minor compared to what other people have gone through so trying to get back into the spirit of being excited about the wedding day again i had a really weird dream last night that it was just a total disaster like everyone came to the church watched us get married and then we got back to the venue and there was about 10 people there and no one turned up so i don't know what that dream is trying to tell me which is it's weird because you would think that would mean that i'm really nervous about it but i'm really like i'm so chilled about it I'm just, I have the approach of just, it's about the marriage and yes, you want a good day and it costs a lot of money and you want everything to go to plan, but I feel like it really is not the be all and end all if some little details aren't quite right. So I think that's just helped me have a really relaxed approach to it. So yes, I'm going to get ready for the day now. I've just woken up and done some cleaning as you've seen. So I'm going to put some makeup on, which I have not done in so many days. So I'm really looking forward to actually putting some makeup makeup on and feeling pretty again not that I don't feel pretty without makeup but you know what I mean girly so yeah I'm going to bring you with me and you can watch me do my makeup just in case you're interested in that kind of thing so excuse my hair I have not brushed it yet but before we get into the makeup I just wanted to show you my outfit for today so I've just worn a plain white t-shirt with this skirt this was from Shein I absolutely love the way this looks I've actually realized recently that i love the way t-shirts tucked into skirts look so i want to get a couple more skirts this sort of length they're just really nice they cover up a little bit more i don't really like wearing super short skirts anymore they just make me feel like a gust of wind could come at any time and yeah just expose everything so <laughs> i like this sort of length so i'm gonna wear some jewelry as well and then obviously hair and makeup and then i'll just show you my shoes as well i've showed you these before but these were also from shein and they were a dupe for some that i saw in zara that i was obsessed with so yeah this whole outfit is pretty much shein apart from the top which is asos okay so i thought i would just show you the skincare i've been using in the morning since i showed you sort of what I do in the evening in the last vlog. So in the evening I use the, um, what's it called? Cleansing balm, Pons, that's been around for years. So I use that every day whether I've got makeup on or not. Then I use the CeraVe foaming cleanser and then I've been trying out the Olay retinol collection and I think so far my skin likes it. I have been having a lot of flare ups of spots recently. So I was just trying to get on top of them recently. So. It's only, I think it's been about a week and a half, so I'll let you know once I've tried it for a little bit longer how it's going. But then in the morning, I use the same CeraVe cleanser. I then put some vitamin C on. I don't think this is the best form of vitamin C for skincare. I think you can get better, but I already bought it. Um, so I'm trying to use this up before I buy another one but it's actually it smells incredible and it makes your skin super soft so it's a really nice skincare product I don't know if it's like the best form of vitamin C and then because I use retinol well even if you don't use retinol you should use it every day anyway but I am very very careful to put SPF on every single morning so I use the La Roche-Posay one which is the one everyone raves about dermatologists love it I've not really done my homework to look into why um but yeah that's the one i use so i just make sure i do my neck oh it's hard to speak and rub your neck at the same time um yeah so i make sure i do my neck and then when i am going to horse riding or i'm spending a lot of time outside i'll also do my arms as well and anything else that is 
going to be in the sun. So that is my skincare. That is pretty much it. And then sometimes I will use a moisturiser, but I don't like to put too many products on just because my skin is so sensitive. So if I do need moisturiser in the morning, I will use this gradual tan one just because it evens everything out and gives a nice glow as well. But that's pretty much it at the moment. So I'm keeping it simple. So I'm going to get into the makeup now. I'm going to fast forward me doing my makeup, but I will leave in the description I will leave in the description all the products I use just in case you're interested come closer dance for me easy tiger easy let your hair down come closer let me see all your million faces you don't need to hide Come closer so that we can be together Everything that has been don't matter no more We've burned it All those whirlwinds can't touch us no more Okay, so that is the finished look for today. I was gonna curl my hair, but I've decided to try and not use too much heat on it. So I've just brushed it through and I'm just gonna leave it like this. So that is my finished hair and makeup for the day. I've put in these earrings and I've also got my homemaker necklace on. I'll show you it a little bit closer up from my collection, which is on my website. So if you wanna get the same necklace, then the link will be in the description. So yeah, this is my finished look for the day i'm so excited now to head over to our venue and try the food i'm just so excited to be there like in the atmosphere of where it's all gonna go down and yeah just get in the positive energy again in terms of the wedding and not just feeling like it's constantly going to be postponed and we'll be 70 years old and not married <laughs> not gonna happen so yeah we're gonna feel positive today and head over there and Murphy has just joined us for the end of the clip. No, not interested? No? Do you want to say hello? No. Oh. Hello, people. <laughs> He's like, get off me, woman, let me go to sleep. There you go. <laughs> Thank you.
wedding venue now the food tasting went so well we actually ended up choosing things that we didn't actually think we were going to go for so we've not gone 100% traditional I was going to show you all the food but I just decided to keep that private and then maybe share it after the wedding I don't know I don't know why it's just one of those things sometimes you're just like nah I think I'll just share with friends and family until the day and then I will try i don't know how but i'll tell you all about it once we've had the day and things just just in case people have like opinions i'm sure people wouldn't but i just don't want any like opinions to put doubts in my head sort of thing because we are firmly decided we're really really happy with the choices so i showed you a little bit of our venue again i didn't want to show too much because i wanted to keep it private and i didn't want people working out where it is and things until we've had the day so i wanted just to show you a little bit of the grounds and just the general feel of it it's a really cozy sort of as cozy as a wedding venue can be it's yeah it's just a hundred percent my vibe and yeah it's just cozy very like lights everywhere just exactly the type of place I think most people would imagine me choosing to get married so yeah so we are having the venue we are sorry we are getting married in a church and then just going back there for the venue for our wedding breakfast and the evening entertainment and things like that so I'm gonna round off this vlog now it's been a lovely Sunday I've got a nice cup of tea now and we are just going to watch some TV on a Sunday we like to watch um SAS who dares wins I don't know if anyone else watches it um but it's basically where they do like SAS training with normal people and see basically who can get to the end and it's just it's super interesting even from like a psychology point of view so I highly recommend watching that so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna get in my comfy clothes and just watch some tv and enjoy my cups of tea and some snacks so I really hope you have enjoyed this cozy Sunday vlog and yeah I will look forward to seeing you again in my next vlog which hopefully will be coming soon I am going down to the yard in about two or three days so I'm hoping to vlog on that day depending on what happens so hopefully you will be seeing me again very shortly and I'll be able to share more of my part loan horse Millie with you so yes see you then thank you for watching <laughs>